Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Ali Iftikhar. This is my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the second step of Canadian immigration, which is language testing. When it comes to languages, there are two languages, two official languages in Canada. One is French, the other one is English. Today we're not going to talk about French because uh, this is not our concern. We're only going to talk about English. And when it comes to English language, they have two tests, namely uh, CELPIC and IELTS. So uh, cell paper is something mostly uh, people don't know about because uh, it's not available as much as IELTS. When it comes to cell paper, it's only available in uh, USA, UK, China, Philippines, um, some parts of India and UAE. If you're living in those countries, you can choose cell paper. That's an option for you. But when you're in Pakistan or if you don't want to choose cell paper, then IELTS remains the only option. And when it comes to IELTS, there are two organizations that are arranging this IELTS test. One is IDP, International Development Program. The other one is British Council. International Development Program, IDP, is basically Australian. It's known as AEO and British Council is obviously British. So uh, I just want to clarify a myth that most people have that AEO is easier than British Council. Well, according to my research, it's not easier nor difficult. It's it's all about your preparation level. If you are prepared well, then uh, whether you go for uh, AEO or you go for British Council, the language test will remain same. Uh, the difficulty level will remain same. The marking system will remain same. It's all you. Now, it further has two types, general training, and academic. In this video, we will not be talking about academic IELTS because that's for students, that's for study visa. This channel is all about Canadian immigration through express entry, which is IELTS general training. So it is important that you choose IELTS general training. If you choose IELTS academic, it will not be acceptable for express entry stream. Now further, when you book your tests, uh, you can choose either computer-based test or paper-based test. Paper-based test is where you write things uh, on a paper that is paper-based and computer-based is where you attempt your test on a computer. So these are the types of IELTS and I've also told you about self -pip. If you're from those countries, you can opt for self -pip. but if you do not choose self -pip, then the only option is IELTS and IELTS general training for express entry. In the next videos, we will be completely discussing and dissecting IELTS. What is IELTS? What are different uh, modules of IELTS? Uh, how can you score a CLB 10 in IELTS? Because the, uh, the motive of this channel is for you to aim at CLB 10. I don't want you to settle for CLB 9 or CLB 8. CLB 10 should be the only goal in your mind. And I will be sharing my journey with you. And I will be giving you all the tips that I have and I will tell you all about the structures, the formats, the question types, how to go about them. So stay tuned for further videos. This is Ali Tukhar and I'm signing off. Dosto, I recently a book edit ki hai, and that book is published on Amazon ebook store. आप उस बुक को चेक आउट कर सकते हैं उसको रीड आउट कर सकते हैं बुक्स पढ़ना बहुत जरूरी होती हैं अपनी रीडिंग की हैबिट डेवलप करने के लिए और जब आपकी रीडिंग की हैबिट डेवलप हो जाएगी तो आप आइल्स रीडिंग के लिए बड़े अच्छे तरीके से उसमें अच्छे बैंड स्कोर कर सकते हैं मैंने उस बुक के लिए एक प्रोमो तैयार किया है आइए चलते हैं उस प्रोमो की तरफ बिस्मिल्लाहिर रहमानिर रहीम माय नेम इज अली इफ्तिखार वेलकम टू माय YouTube चैनल Today I would like to talk about a book that is written by my friend Karis Pointer. The book's name is The Four Ticksters. It's about a family of ticks and more. In case you didn't know, ticks is the involuntary movements of a particular muscle of your body something you cannot control for example your hand keeps on moving or, or the shoulder keeps on shrugging or the eyes they keep on blinking and you have no control over them you're talking and your eyes are blinking so that's a tick these ticks can be classified as ticks disorder and if worse then they're called 
Tourette syndrome and this book is about a family of ticks and more. Let me take you to the title page. The four textures. The reason for this title is that Carice has uh, four boards and uh, all of them are showing texts at the moment. So she asked me to edit the book and I also designed um, the book cover and almost the complete book. So this is the copyright page and um, Carice is such a sweetheart that she let me mention my name on the book. So in the copyrights page, I mentioned my name under the book design. So this is the dedication page. She dedicated her book to the four sons and all of those people who are suffering from Tourette syndrome and obsessive compulsive disorder. If you want to learn more about obsessive compulsive disorder or Tourette syndrome, then you will need to buy this book and read it. And Carice was so kind that she mentioned my name in the dedication page as I would like to thank Ali Fakhar who put his dedication and hard work into editing of this book. As I've told you, I'm also the editor of this book. And this book has been published on Amazon eBooks. Also available in the paperback version. So that's the table of contents. These are the chapters. I would only read out the introduction part because this introduction part is also included in the book cover design. As you know, when you go out to buy a book, you look at the book cover, how is it designed, what's the title of the book, um, who is the writer, and then you turn the book around. You try to find out what's going to be inside that book. So that is introduction actually. So I've written that introduction for Carries. I would read it out for you. Getting the right diagnosis for your kid's mental health is the hardest part. If your kids show ticks and you cannot get the correct diagnosis, you are in the same boat as I was. My children started showing ticks and indicators of other disorders gradually. It was my son Ramani who was the first, not the eldest, who showed symptoms from the age of four. And it took me eight years to get the proper judgment. I was shattered and confused, not knowing what comes next, worried about the health of my children, overcoming my bipolar and OCD. It was too much for me as a mother. I researched and studied for the sake of my kids. I achieved the level four diploma for counseling and certification of training in mentoring. I wanted to make a difference by helping others with addiction. Therefore, I wrote this book with a passion for reaching out to everyone with similar problems. It is my humble effort to raise awareness of mental disorders. Identification of the symptoms is the first stage. Read my story and you will come to know about the effort it takes to figure out the problem finally. I have developed my methods from research, action plan from experience to fight it out. Only then can we overcome those. Ignoring the signs in your loved ones will bring you no good. It is time to face it. The four boys take part that you're about to read is based on my experience and life's journey. I have shared specific events and the feelings related to those moments to explain the difficulty. If you equip yourself with the suggestions provided, you will likely loosen up your shoulders and focus on what is required out of you. Take action, intervene early, 
know my story. And after this page, the book starts. This is exactly how the book is going to look on your Kindle. If you don't have a Kindle, you can still purchase the book and read it out on your cell phone, on your laptop or on your computer or your tablet. So this is an ebook which is available online and you can also order the paperback format. At the end, I would like to give a brief shout out. She has a YouTube channel as well. I put the link to her YouTube channel in the description below. Please visit her channel, subscribe to it and watch the videos of her kids showing symptoms. And when you will watch those videos, you might come to know that your own son or your daughter might be suffering from those sticks. This is how important it is. Take action and intervene early. The four textures is available online. Raising awareness of Tourette syndrome. Thank you very much. So guys, if you want to purchase this book, this is the Amazon link. Uh, it will be given in the description below as well. It's written by Keris Pointer and Alif Kakar is the editor. This is the price. So as you can see, this book is rated number 121 in Living with Disabilities Biographies. So keep in mind, it's basically a memoir, a biography of Caris Pointer because she's living with disabilities and um, she has um, certain mental conditions in her four boys. And uh, keep in mind, once you will purchase this book, 10% of this amount will go into the charities related to Tourette syndrome. So that's a promise. So make sure you buy it, make sure you read it out and you support the course.